Hi, if you're like me and you suffer from dry, dead hair with split ends, or you know somebody who has these issues as well, I'm gonna show you how a quick trip to your kitchen can improve your hair drastically. So most kitchens have coconut oil, olive oil, and castor oil. And all of these oils have been proven to condition, strengthen, and lengthen your hair from damage that you do on an everyday basis. So first off, your hair is made up of three layers, the medulla, cortex, and the cuticle. Washing, dyeing, and styling your hair damages it because your hair, the medulla, is what's the outer layer. When you wash your hair too often, it strips it of its natural oils and its proteins. And the more you do that, you start damaging the inner parts of your hair uh, layers. And that is not good. <laughs> Helen West in 2016 said in a Healthline blog how coconut oil is very rich in vitamin E and how it conditions the hair and she further explains that it also has antifungal properties that help your hair and your scalp fight off dandruff because dandruff is considered a fungal thing so it helps protect your hair and your scalp and the reason coconut oil is really used for your hair is because it creates a protective layer on your strands. So when you're washing your hair, it's protecting the inner parts of your hair strand. And olive oil is also very similar to coconut oil. It is one of the most natural oils that is the most abundant with vitamin E. Erica Curley explains in 2019 in a Healthline blog, how olive oil adds shine, body, and a protective layer, similar to the coconut oil, to your hair and how with regular use, you can help strengthen, lengthen, and moisturize your hair. It's also similar to coconut oil to where it can help with uh, dandruff and dry scalp, but it is mostly used for deep conditioning and adding shine to your hair. And lastly, we have castor oil. Castor oil is mostly known for its laxative properties and that side of it. However, many people claim that it is great for hair growth and improving hair growth rates. So normally your hair grows one centimeter per month, but with regular use of castor oil, you can increase that to three to five times the amount. And Brian Kranz in 2020 stated in a Healthline blog how this oil conditions, lengthens, and helps control dandruff similar to coconut oil and olive oil. However, it's mostly for the length. And he also gives a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this as a hair mask. However, in a few moments, I will show you how to do that, but with my own little twist to it. So now that we know about our ingredients and how they can help our hair and why we need to do this for our hair, you can use them separately. You can just do a coconut hair mask, a castor oil hair mask, or an olive oil hair mask. However, I like to combine them all into one jar so you're getting all of their properties and benefits all at what once. What you're gonna wanna do for your hair mask and your eyelash mask is you're gonna wanna wear an old t-shirt and you're gonna wanna get a towel so that way you don't get oil everywhere. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mix equal parts of coconut oil and olive oil. It doesn't matter what kind of brand, like I have Kroger brand. And you're going to want to mix them into a jar and then add a few drops of castor oil. So what you're going to want to do, roll up your sleeves just a little bit. And you want to get it on your hands, okay? So your hands get all oily and you're gonna to wanna to start to massage it into your scalp. And if you're doing this for someone else, they are going to love you at this part because who does not love to get their, their hair wet? So you're gonna want your hair to be wet, but not drenched. You wanna massage it into your scalp first. And then you're gonna to wanna to start to run your fingers through your hair especially your ends. If you have thick hair, you I consider using a brush so you can evenly distribute it. But if you have thin hair like me, 
your fingers will work fine. You're going to sp spend extra attention on your ends because your hair produces natural oils already at the top, but your ends do not. So they're going to need some extra, extra love for conditioning. And once you get it all through your hair, you can get rid of the towel. I didn't apply it to all of my hair yet. I want to get the back side too. You just want to really work it through all of it. Like you want it to be wet like this, not dripping in oil. And then you're going to put your hair in a bun. And then you can either leave it like this, or if there's extra in your hair or you're going to sleep with it, I recommend wrapping your hair in saran wrap that way it doesn't get all over your pillows and i do this about once a week and your eyelash mask will be very similar so what you're going to want to do for your eye mask is you're going to use the same ingredients you're going to use equal parts of olive oil and coconut oil into a little jar and you're going to add a few drops of the castor oil and you're going to want to get a clean mascara brush and you're going to dip it in and these ingredients are safe for your eyes however you want to remove the excess amount on the mascara brush that way it doesn't drip into your eyes you just want to use a small amount because if it does get in your eyes it won't hurt it will just be very annoying because your eyes will blur up because <laughs> it is oil so once you remove the excess you're going to want to apply it to your eyes just as you would with mascara. Starting from the roots up. Make sure you do get the roots because that will stimulate the growth with the castor oil, creating the length. And if you're feeling ambitious, you can even put it on your eyebrows because this stuff works amazing for all kinds of hair. And after all of this, now that we know that coconut oil, olive oil, and castor oil have been proven to help condition, strengthen, and protect hair while also adding shine and length to it as well, even where your eyelashes and eyebrows. I hope you guys enjoyed my natural hair life hack and that they provide you or someone that you know with the same results as they have me because my eyelashes have grown a lot and my hair looks a lot healthier. Thank you.